Welcome Pisces. We are going to be looking at what it is that your soul would like you to know using Work Your Light Oracle Cards, Mystical Healing Reading Cards, I'll show Zen Tarot. Okay, Pisces, let's get into it here. One card, okay, there it is, let me pick it up. Okay, Pisces, so this says warrior woman. Now, please don't, you know, concentrate on the gender here, okay, because it is the energy that we're really interested in, all right? Now, it says if you weren't afraid, what would you do? If you weren't afraid, what would you do? And you know what? I feel like she's hiding behind the sword here. And the sword represents truth. I feel like this is about you listening to the truth of your soul. Not what you think other people want to hear, but what the truth actually is. Discovering that and digging into it. Honestly. Doing that honestly. Because if you're not honest about it, Pisces, you're not serving your purpose. You're not doing what you came here to do, right? And sometimes we kind of like think of something that we would like to say, oh yeah, this is what I want to do because we think, oh well, because someone said this or because this person believes this or whatever, um, then that will work, that will suit everyone. And it's not really about you. Three cards. It's one on the floor, I don't know what that is. That's upside down. The second one landed upside down. Third one, please, for Pisces. For what? Do I... Yeah, it is that one. Okay, let me pick this up. Okay, so we have this first card here, become more objective. Yes, Pisces. I feel like this is about you not appeasing people. Uh, this is about you looking at what is you want to fill your own cup with. Because I notice here she has a cup, but I can't see anything in it. It is empty. And um, I feel as though for some of you, you're standing there waiting for someone to tell you what to put in your cup. But it, it's only up to you to fill that up, okay? There's this sense of... When we talk about become more objective, right? This is about... Honesty, I feel for you. Being honest with yourself. Saying, actually, no, that's not what I want. No, that's not what I think. No, I don't agree with that. Or, yes, that is something I agree with. Yes, that is something I want to do. Right? It is becoming more objective. When you tap into the heart of heart, parts of your soul and bring that out that is the objectivity that you need to tap into here because some of you some of you had just been going along agreeing with everything to a certain degree to keep the peace projections to avoid conflict to avoid arguments yeah that's fine do whatever doesn't bother me happy with that okay yep sweet as you know and it's not really what you want and so it's kind of like not deadening you but just not allowing you to hold your head up and say mm, actually yeah nah i don't think so um, you know, 
it's kind of like it's kind of like living in two worlds in a sense you know it's being this angel and being appeasing when really you want to flat this other side like there's no tomorrow mm, it's, it, this is interesting because it kind of reminds me of gemini of these these two twins these these two parts of you going yeah i'm gonna do this but Really, I want to do this. Yeah. And that's this, you know. I think there's something you've been hiding. There's part of yourself you've been hiding. Really interesting. I've got flowering here. You see, with this card here, this one here, she knows. She knows what she wants. She's not afraid to go after it. She lives her truth and she lives it without apology. And I feel like this is what this is calling you to do, to be completely and utterly honest. First and foremost with yourself. And if you're not sure what that is, it is time to discover it. It's time to cut out the bullshit. Okay? No more. It's time to cut it out. The dream. The dream. There's a vision. There's a vision that you had here. Oh, I can see a sword in there. Interesting. Looks to me like there's a sword running here. And I just wonder if the sword is the truth about the vision of having a vision of what you thought things would be like. It doesn't have to be in a relationship. It could be your entire life. It could be a job. It could be anything. It could be, it could be a career that you pursued that you thought would end up a certain way and it hasn't quite happened like that. And you're looking at it going, oh, and trying to pretend that, oh, no, it's fine because this is what I always wanted to do. And now it's like, oh, actually, well, it's not, not really how I envisioned it. But anyhow, whatever it is about Pisces, it's kind of like you sitting there and really reflecting on that and going and picking it apart, I suppose, of saying, this isn't quite how I thought it would be. This isn't not how you thought it would be, but how you you kind of anticipated it to feel so there's a huge difference there's a huge difference to what things can appear like on the outside and what you feel like is going on on the inside right see whereas with this card here it's all encompassing she's she's feeling it as well as living it so i feel like for some of you there's a disconnection here of feeling it and living it. Yeah. Compromise. Look at this compromise. This is two people walking along. Kind of like, I'll just compromise with you just to shut you up. And it's not, it's just not, yeah. These two cards here, I feel as though there's sort of this, um, I don't know, do you know what? The word appeasing keeps popping into my mind. And I feel like some of you are just doing that to keep the peace. And I've, I said that earlier on, right, in the projections card, just appeasing. and But it's not real. It's not real. And so when you have a foundation that is based on just appeasing somebody on something that is not real, it's not solid. And so when you want to build this, this type of dream, it has to be on truth. It has to be on honesty and it has to come from the heart. It can't survive anything else because otherwise eventually you get to the roof and the foundation is already going, oh, it's not solid, right? 
you have this guilt card here some of you may be feeling in your head about everything and not being able to get past that Just the need for honesty is absolutely huge here. Becoming more objective, right? If you weren't afraid, what would you do? Here, Pisces, if you could tell the utter truth, what would that be? Just consider that for yourself. What would it be? What would you say if there was no, no repercussions, nothing bad was going to happen, you weren't going to hurt anyone, um, you weren't going to feel guilty. If you could just say the truth and everything would be okay, what would you say? What is that inner voice calling at you to say? What is it that it wants to be heard within you? Is that this inner child that has always remained quiet to keep everything okay, to keep ev to keep the peace in the household. Is that what the sinner voice is? Have you just been trained to do that so blimmin' well that you're not actually aware that you're still doing that? But there's this frustration inside of you that you don't know where it comes from. And maybe it's from this inner child, this inner voice that hasn't been heard even by you. Take positive action. Take positive action. You see, this is you sailing through life in a boat with a makeshift sail. That isn't real, right? That's not real. Be objective. Be objective. Where, where is that going to get you? How far can you really sail in a bath with a sail? How far can you get there? Is it real? Take positive action. Be objective as to exactly what is going on here. Be honest here, Pisces. Okay, be honest. Okay, so all flying out already. Wow. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Okay, ordinariness and moment to moment. Interesting. It's kind of like I feel like some of you are just so used to doing what you do that you continue to do it, okay? Um, and you kind of can do it with your eyes closed. You don't even need to open your eyes to see where the next stone to step on is. But the thing is that by doing that, you are actually missing other ways to travel through life. Because you're so um, sort of just not conscious, not consciously living. And there's even this thing of you going, I am consciously living. And I want to say that you are sort of it's it's like this unconscious consciousness in a sense of you've become so used to of maybe relaying the consciousness a particular way because of what you've learned because of what you've heard other people say um and you've taken that on board as your own belief but it's it's not really being lived consciously I'm just hearing this playing going. It's like, oh. yeah, that's what it's like. Healing, the healing has to be done. The healing, There's this thing, there's something about transparency here. There's healing that has to be done. Um, and the transparency is really about you being honest with yourself. Because look at this one here. She's got 
her eye, one her one of her eyes is covered here. It's only seeing a half truth. It is only seeing a half truth. It's like here, yeah, here's the truth, but I'm covering this truth over here with this side. But because I've got a sword, which is represents this sort of truth, how could it not be true? Because I'm holding the sword of truth. But there's still something that isn't, that is being covered, covered up. And I don't see that as a deceptive thing. It's not deceptive. It's also not conscious. Mm. And once you do that, once you allow that to come out and be honest with yourself about it, that's where the breakthrough tr takes place, okay? That's where you smash through those walls that are stopping you from building this solid foundation here, right? Um, that is, that, you know, that's what, because look, here's the same flower, right, from the heart. That will allow you to open your heart and really express yourself in the truth of who you are. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, look at the mind, the control here. See, this is this this foundation which isn't solid. See how it's it's not um all in alignment here. And there's bits that are out of whack, you know. This is this is this. Yeah, Pisces, wow. It's really interesting because I feel like this is what is pro being projected on the outside here because we've got projections here and this was one of the first cards out so I feel like this is quite prevalent and um, it's sort of like this control on the outside is, is hiding what is going on on the inside here, is hiding this mind stuff here and the pollution from the mind and even, even, even this, um, this sort of appeasing thing this is creating this pollution because it is not real. It's not producing something real. It's not producing something solid. It's just producing smoke. There's no passion. There's smoke, but there's no passion. And then we have this last card here. Ennoble your soul. Because some of you are allowing, are allowing distractions to come in and stop what it is that um, your soul requires because you're not being honest. Not doing what it is that you truly want to do. Not speaking what it is that you truly want to speak. So it's easier to cover that up. I want to say this. This came up in another reading. I uh, can't remember whose it was. Uh, but it's this here, Pisces. Let me just organise these cards first. In the order they came out in. Um, it is that you are, um, you know, in anything in life uh, where there is a joining of um, a joining of energies, the energies that join together have to be solid in their own right, okay? Um, because when they are solid in their own right and come together and join, they create a whole brand new energy okay and that whole brand new energy cannot exist unless the two energies coming together are solid in their own right one of those energies cannot be appeasing in order to make this brand new energy form 
it doesn't give the basis for something to form here okay and um it's also not the case that two new energies can come together to exist as one. They are always two energies. And so in that regard, there seems to be a bit of a misunderstanding of the energy that has been formed between yourself and another person. Yes, because you see the flowering here. This is her and her energy. The energy behind her is independent of her. This is about being independent, being more objective of what it is that you want. Okay? And when you have that, this dream here comes together to form a whole new energy. Rather than to combine two energies to make one and live as that for eternity. It's not possible because that energy would not become that energy without the two energies having contributed to that. I hope that makes sense. So it's important, what I'm saying here, it's important to maintain your own portion of that energy and whoever is bringing in that other part of that energy, it could be, it could be 10 people, right? Everyone is responsible for their own energy. And in order to create this new energy, it's important for you to have an individual independent energy. Being objective as to what that looks like. You see, this here, this wing here, this is one person, this wing here is another person and they come together, right? But at the moment, there doesn't seem to be a mutual meeting of those two energies. Hmm. Very interesting. And this is it here, right? Suppressing, suppressing what is within you. What your truth is here. Because, because some of you are hiding from your shadow. Some of you don't want to visit your shadow. You want to visit it a little, but you don't want to dive right in there. Right, this is why the healing card's here, because I was kind of like, why is that here amongst all this? Because this isn't quite making sense now. I see it. Now I see it. Yeah. So you're you you know, in order to rise up here, it's important for you to stop suppressing because what's happening is the foundation is cracking because of the suppression. Okay, and that's where these distractions come in because it's the only way for you to suppress what it is that you don't want to come up. Okay, and that stops you from standing in your true light. So trust. Trust in yourself. Trust in the process. And trust that when you do visit this shadow self, truly and utterly, you will fly out of there. You won't be buried amongst the rubble like it feels like you will be, you will fly. You will 100% fly. Okay, break free. Pisces, break free. Yep, this is it, right? This is the foundation. This is the foundation that needs to be rebuilt. Okay? This is the cracked foundation that is here from the suppression. All right? So yeah, this is this is you. This is you accepting. Look, look at this here. You've got this is what I was talking about that with the energies. Okay, you've got two completely different trees here. One energy, one energy. They come together to create a forest. They are still independently their own trees in their own right. They have their own uses. 
but together they make up this energy of a forest right thank you for that because that i feel like summed it up okay so be receptive all right be receptive of this because what will actually be revealed is the master within you this is the truth of who you are here pisces the master And this is what you're suppressing. This is what you're suppressing. What an insult to your soul. What an insult to yourself. I'm not saying you're bad. I'm not saying you're a terrible person. What I'm saying here, Pisces, is you're worthy. You're worthy of this master coming out and having the light shone upon right allow that to happen allow your light to shine because that's what you deserve and that is what everyone around you also deserves to be standing in that light that you have inside of you to shine okay pisces pisces we're going to read this book i almost forgot then but i was reminded so we have we have more messages for you Warrior woman. Okay. Pisces. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? What are you being called to do or face that requires courage? If you weren't afraid, what would you do? Living a heart and soul led life is not all fluffy and smooth sailing living a heart and soul led life requires courage to triumph over fear so often our fears are the gatekeepers to our greatest greatest gifts yeah and the more resistance we have towards answering a call the more important it is to our soul's growth Sometimes fear is an indication that we are facing the right way. Joan of Arc was known for her courage and her famous line, I am not afraid. I was born to do this. Love it. But the thing about courage is that it is not possible without fear. So if you are feeling afraid, what is needed is courage and courage comes from living from the heart think of your fears as opportunities to expand rather than things that are holding you hostage if you look at your fears in this light then as uncomfortable as it might feel it's actually a sign that you are on the right track if you weren't afraid what would you do? Love it. Yes, that is brilliant. Oh, I love that, Pisces. So yeah, Pisces, I'm going to leave that with you. There is nothing else to be said here. I think it's all, all come out. So yeah, um, take care with that, okay? And take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.